Hello guys, this video presents the modeling of a riderless bicycle through multi-body dynamic simulation software Adams, where relevant behavior of this system in motion is exhibited. It is a first part that it is mainly focused in the description of the bicycle dynamics. In other videos, control system for the stabilization of this system will be brought more in detail. So, the content of this video is structured as follows. First, a CAD model of a riderless mountain bicycle is presented. Second, this CAD model is used to build a virtual dynamic model of NAC and the environment, while some controlled dynamics is described by means of several simulations. Third, as starting point, a simple proportional control is proposed to establish the bicycle and its response is exhibited by a simulation that simultaneously hands MATLAB and Adam software. Finally, in four, some recommendations about the modeling and the control system are given. Then, this is the CAD model of the mountain bicycle. Here, elements of this vehicle are identified. The table of this slide presents the mass of these elements, which they were obtaining for a real bicycle. Then, this is the developed CAD model on Solid Edge version ST7. For better visualization, I'm showing different views of this bicycle. At left side, a tree as body can be appreciated. So, we have the frame at its respective assembly relationship. Then, we have the rear and front wheels of the bicycle. This is the attached cock sack to the rear wheel. Next, we have the crank arms of the traction system, which they are assembled to the low, medium and high forward chain rings. Finally, this is the handlebar and front fork to steer the vehicle. The reference coordinate system is located at the contact point of the rear wheel and mechanical properties were established along it so that we have the center of mass where green point indicates and center of volume where red point indicates. Now, this is the panel where mechanical properties of CAD model are set. Here we have mass, center of mass location, and mass moment of inertia. Besides, this panel gives the principal moment of inertia with the orientation of the principal axis. So, these properties were computed from the individual mechanical properties of each body. For example, I opened the part editor for the physical frame. And the physical properties panel has established its respective mass, moments of inertia, and principal moment of inertia. Next, I show the same for the bicycle rear wheel. These are mass and moment of inertia with respect to the current system. And this is the information about the principal moments of inertia. Later, this CAD model is posteriorly exported to Adams to simulate its behavior when in motion.
Now, I present the virtual dynamic model of the Redless Bicycle. Geometry of this vehicle is obtained by importing the developed CAD model on Solid Edge through file import option of Adam View environment. This option allows to import design file from CAD software such as Solid Edge, Katia, Inventor, SolidWorks, and other else. Elements of the bicycle are flown into the body section of Adam's Model 3. For each element was defined its location and its mechanical properties. For instance, for front wheel has been established the density of its material, and so what used this quantity to compute mass, center of mass, and principal moment of inertia. Bicycle's frame has also configured its mechanical property through the density of its material and the shape of its geometry. Into the information panel, the mechanical properties of each element can be exhibited. It shows the calculated mass, volume, center of mass, and principal mass inertia tensor. On the other hand, the connector section contains the joint of this bicycle. Fixed joints were used to link attached elements that make the same movement with each other. The revolute joint constitutes the circular motion of the rear wheel and the clock set. Also, the circular free motion of the front wheel, the gyro of the central traction system, and the steering motion of the handlebar and front fork. Motion section has established the applied input motion to this system. Here we found the angular velocity input to the rear wheel or traction subsystem and the angular displacement input to the handlebar or steering subsystem. On the other hand, considered forces that affect to this system are configured into the forces section of Model 3. This section has the gravity, the friction forces associated to the rear wheel, the front wheel, the central traction subsystem, and the steering subsystem. Then, contact forces between each element of the bicycle and the floor are also shown. And finally, a lateral force on the frame was programmed to simulate external disturbances. Input and output variables are defined into the element section. These variables will be later manipulated through MATLAB software. Then, angular speed of rear wheel and steering angle are the control input variables. The lean angle is the output variable, and disturbance is the uncontrolled input force to perturb the vehicle's lean angle. Now, by means of control plugin, the virtual dynamic model of the vehicle is exported to MATLAB as a virtual plan. Control plan export panel allows to configure some features such as input signals, output signals, start software, analysis type, Adam solver, and another else. So, I show three important cases of the bicycle dynamics. First case is the fall down when its forward velocity is zero. Then its unstable nature is evident. Second case is when uncontrolled bicycle moves at low forward velocity. It falls down with a different behavior than first case. Finally, in third case, bicycle is submitted to high forward velocity, it about same meter per second, and uncontrolled bicycle is self-stable due to gyroscopic effect of front wheel, which rotates the handlebar to the side that bicycle falls. Okay, I am now on simulating environment, and this orange block constitute the developed multibody dynamic model on Adam's view, which it works exported by Contrast plugin. Internally, this block contains the programming to communicate both software. Here, we have real angular velocity, exceeding angle and disturbance force as input variables. 
and Liam Engel was taken as output variable. Bicycle or ride position is set to zero by this addition. Then, a proportional controller will be designed to stabilize this system. Then, for control system, a simple launch parameter model is defined through this diagram. Here, bicycle is only considered as a point mass system where its linear angle is affected by the forward velocity, steering angle, and location of this point. When it is a sum, the mass of whole bicycle is lumped on it. This diagram allows to formulate this transfer function, which relates the linear angle output with the steering angle input on the certain constant forward velocity. Hagen values of this transfer function clearly show that system is unstable. However, by this proportional control definition, the closed loop transfer function T is obtained, whose characteristic polynomial is Horwitz and control system is stable. Finally, required mountain bicycle parameters were consigned in this table. So, I present the control system of the bicycle's virtual dynamic model. This is the proportional controller. This generates its forward linear velocity. And this is the applied disturbance force to the model. Then, I run this application. Then, it is the code simulation that uses MATLAB to execute the proportional control system and events to simulate the dynamics of the bicycle. This window shows the interactive simulation of vehicle behavior and, at the right side, the graphics of lean angle, steering angle, angular velocity of rear wheel, and disturbance force are shown. Finally, at 10 seconds, the servant enters and causes these effects. Finally, I give you some recommendation items about this work. First, the signed controller don't achieve asymptotical stability for the angle output. Therefore, it is possible that this controller fails on a real bicycle. Second, given that forward velocity is a time variant variable in the most of cases when bicycle is in motion, then a robust and adaptive control must be devised for bicycle stabilization. Third, when forward velocity is around zero, bicycle behavior is similar to an inverted pendulum and it results impossible to stabilize the system with the steering angle only. Then a momentum control on bicycle's frame will be implemented. Okay guys, thanks for your attention and see you again in other videos.